RPG Kingdom Kid here back with some more Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. In the previous video, we finished up, uh, uh, oh my god, Rivali's, uh, Meadow's trial, and then this one for Rivali. Now we're in the last one to do Daruk's, so let us do that right now. I applaud your courage in coming here. Locations that will be revealed to you of the trials will enhance the power of sleeping within you. <sighs> Do not let your guard down, of course. Okay. Guess we'll head to that one first. In all honesty, if I actually just looked at the maps there, I probably, oh, excuse me. I probably wouldn't need to cheat to like find the locations, but no. The light. Is it a reaction to something nearby? Is it me, or is it... Oh, what's this? Travel in the land of flames? Are you truly able to withstand the heat? I know it's not my business, but I'm rather concerned. It must be that you appealed an ample amount of fireproof elixirs, just as I did. Is that so? Sure, why not? Oh. Even though I'm actually wearing the armor that um uh helps with that. But, sure, yeah. Yes, I knew it. I'm in the same boat, friend. If I don't use fireproof elixirs, I go from a bard to a baked bud. Well, never mind my musings. Look, I'm sure you already know, but it's one of the mo monuments mentioned in my teacher's on face, Sean. The right, right, it's the last one. Oh. Oh. <sighs> I wonder if my teacher ever contemplated that this very song at this very spot. The song my teacher left behind. There's a verse about the trials that champion Daruk overcame. Allow me to sing it for you. Crawling flame on a mighty peak, Rudania's champion never weak. The hero's power shall grow, seek trials monument show. One stop, a titan of molten stone. Two followings of light alone. Three survived flowers, fiery fate. Champion trials await. So, did it move you? By understanding the true natures of the champions, I'm close so than ever to come completing those key verses. I can imagine it vividly, the champion's vi vigilance from a hundred years ago. Oh. My, teacher's always, my teacher always advised that to write a good song, one must travel the world and meet lots of people. That is why I spent my days afoot talking to anyone who will listen. I was lucky enough to meet with Unobo and Bludo in Goron City, both of whom knew m very much about the Goron champion. They regulated me with some of the rather interesting stories. Mm. I'm certain the stories they share will help great, greatly in the efforts to accurately write the songs of Kivas. Alrighty. Uh, that way. Like, where is the... See, so yeah, again, it's like, oh, it's over here. So they're gonna magically find Daruk's diary. I'll have to read it. Do 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 Hey, 
Hey, wake the fuck up. The fuck? Well, I just fell in lava, okay. What's up? What could you possibly want at this hour? Do you need something? Daruk. I know about Daruk. Popular subject these days. Not long ago, a Rito Bard came from wanting to know about him. Told him about all things, for example, about the boulder breaker, Daruk's weapon of choice. Told him how heavy it is and how it, its power is unmatched. You know the valley of Gortan Cliff, southwest of Gortko Tunnel? It's made by Daruk with his boulder in one night. Why? Why? Why do you think? To make it easier for his Gorons to get all the tasty rock roast. The Rito fella seemed to like the other story I told him better, though. I'm not a big fan of that one. The heroic and exciting stories of Daru capture him much better. Is there something else you needed? Where's you, Nobo? Nobo? I am saw staring off in the distance on top of the entrance gate. Typical. Actually, it seems to me that you, Nobo, is acting more accomplished and confident these days. Maybe he's finally realized what it means to be a descendant of the great Daruk. Uh, tell me something. What do you want to hear about? Boulder Breaker? Who's the Boulder Breaker? Just go talk to Ron the Blacksmith. He'll help you way out. He's to find himself sometimes. No diary or anything? Okay. Okay, no diary. So, you know, Bo's at the entrance gate. There he is. You know, Bo. I don't need me that opens, I need shields. Huh. Hey! Bot said his back is all better, Goro. Oh, and Rudania stopped some rampaging. I feel like I can finally take it easy, Goro. Oh, did you need something, Goro? Hmm. Oh, Lord Daruk, Goro. Huh? Oh, that reminds me of something. I found Lord Daruk's training journal. <sighs> Must have been a big eater. He sure talks about delicious rocks a bunch. What else? Oh, Lord Daruk also has a good friend who liked to eat as much as he did. I don't have much of an myself, so I'm pretty scrawny, Goro. I'm gonna have to start eating less. Eating lots as I can become as strong as those two. Oh. That's right, I found when I was cleaning out the abandoned north mine where we met. Lord Shrine is at my house now, Goro. Mm. Uh, okay. I don't remember where your house is. Uh, is your house that one? Or is your house higher on the hill? I honestly don't remember where his house is. I don't think this is his house. I think this is just, um... Could that be his house? That might be his house. Yep. I'm gonna start... I'm gonna start writing in this diary thing... thing starting now. Ugh, a diary. Maybe I'll call it my train journal. They say all you gotta do is write down stuff that happens. Us Goron, Goron, Gorons prefer the simple life, so I hope the simple stuff counts. Uh, let's see, for today's journal entry, what should I write about? I know, I had some rock roast from the peak of Death Mountain. It's delicious. I think I'll eat more of it soon. Talk with some highlands at the base of the mountain. All anyone wants to talk about these days is Clement Ganon. Reminds me of when those tiny Sheikah uh, came to Death Mountain a few years ago to dig up that divine beast or whatever. The aliens were saying the beast thing is a weapon someone will need to learn how to control. Back in the good old days, Gorons didn't worry about relics we couldn't eat. Hmm, now I'm hungry. You know, I'll track down a prime rock roast for one of my dinners tonight. Today I had someone being attacked when I was out looking for lunch rocks at the peak. 
He was a little tiny guy, so I rushed down the mountain to help him. I was shocked to find he was ha handy with a sword. By the time I rolled his way, he's already taken out all the monsters. I couldn't help but admire his Goron-like strength. Well, I was... Well, I was dis distracted, a monster almost got up... Got a jump on me. He stopped it. The great Daruk, saved by a tiny Helion. I must have had a dopey look on my face when that... When that happened. Hope he didn't notice. That little highland from before is named Link. He's got a respectable appetite. Loves to eat meat, fruit, vegetables. All sorts of things a decent person wouldn't dream of eating. <laughs> Link will cook up and eat just about anything. I offered him some grade A rockers to help refine his palate. Asked him how it tastes. He liked it so much he was speechless. I knew Highlands could eat rocks too. Eating isn't the only thing Link and I have in common. The little guy is also incredibly strong. He says sometimes when he f when he focuses it feels like the time slows down. <laughs> really like that guy. He's the type of guy you can trust to have your back and also have a nice hearty meal with. Yeah, that sells it. From now on, Link is an official brother. Hyrule's little princess came to Goron today and asked me to pilot the Divine Beast. I said yes. The great Dark, Dark never turns down someone in need. When I said I would, the princess seemed really happy. There will be four champions to control, four Divine Beasts, and one swordsman to take on Ganon. Including the princess, our anti ganon team is six strong. What? Oh, yeah, four. Yeah. Made up of all different kinds of people. This ha has the making of an epic feast. I go to... I got the ball rolling by giving the princess my best rock roast. She said thanks, but I think she was holding back a grimace. Must have had something foul in her mind. I'm a champion now. Feels good. I hadn't talked with Link in a while, so seeing him at the inauguration ceremony was nice. It was a good day. Oh, word has it Link has been chosen as Zelda's appointed knight. I can't think of a better brother for the job. I hear one of those ancient machine things went nuts during some test and shot out deadly beams. True Goron Spear, Link grabbed the pot lid from the ground and deflected the blast. He nailed the thing in its weak spot and saved the day. His bravery caught the king's eye, and not long after that, he was appointed to guard Zelda. I expect nothing less from the little guy. I've been chosen pot. Okay, hold on a second here. I gotta move my mouse so I don't accidentally hit the um, stop button. Uh, I was chosen to pilot Rudania, but I was having trouble controlling it. I was the only champion who was struggling. I asked Link for advice, but he just shoved me into the fine beast so I could explore it aimlessly all day. Can't explain it, but by the end of the day, I was able to control Rudania just how, how I wanted to. Guess experience is the best teacher. Little guy's strength must come from working hard and never giving up. Good lesson, brother. As thanks, I'm going to treat him to some gourmet sirloin rock. All my healing brothers seem to do these days is watch over the tiny princess while she does her research. Looks like tough work, but the princess seems a lot happier and talks more since she's been doing it, so it must be okay. I hear the little guys finally opened up about his troubles to the princess while they were sho shoveling food. Surprisingly, she opened up right back. Said something princess princessy like, I guess we're the same, you and I. <laughs> Sounds heavy. They must have been bonding over their food preferences. That'll do, alright. Speaking of opening up, all these journal writings have made me realize something about myself. Right? It makes me hungry. <laughs> Oh, Daruk. I think Daruk is my favorite. Alrighty. Well, might as well do... Let's do this one first. Then we might as well do the one by Rudania last, and still be, like, right there. Alrighty, off we go. Bye. Finally again, some time to do trials. Okay, the yellow ones. Oh. I'm gonna have to get out of here and go all the way over there, okay. I don't, I think the only thing I had trouble with Fire Blight, Blight Gan was, um, was um what I had to do when he was like spinning that cyclone, but all I had to do was just throw a bomb, so So I don't foresee that being any trouble. Hopefully. Hopefully it can be just like I did with um Wind blight and just finish it off in one go. 
Man, it was a little further than I thought. Oh, shit. Pump it up, brother. Oh, it's the fourth Goron blood brother. The one who beat both the contest of endurance and our gut check challenge. Do you know why champion Daru chose this place to train, brother? Neither do we, but us Goron blood brothers are going to find out complaint, completing the train ourselves. So that's some part of Lord Daru's secret Goron ch intense. Do all we can with my Gorons. Huh? Feel the burn, brother. They're glowing the in lava, think of it as a target, and stand on the lava, lava, brother. So sweaty, brother. You know, grown can't walk on lava. Lord Daruk really did this train. Not that I doubt him, brother. Now, no wonder Lord Daruk chose this spot. It's hardcore, brother. This train's gonna be rough. I can almost taste the gains. Time to strategize, brothers. Huh. I don't think this works on lava, does it? I think it only works on. Hmm. This is gonna be a tough one. How do I do that one? The hell are you over there? Oh, you're an enemy. Oh, hold on. That one too, and then just gotta do back and forth. I almost, I almost did a dumb thing. So it's nice to know that I didn't have to do a dumb thing. Shit, I'm going yep, I knew I was gonna miss that one. Okay. Let's go. I got to just pull that a little closer. See if I can even stand on the second one, so Oh, it's gonna hurt though. Okay. Okay, that's not what I thought was gonna happen. I thought you'd push. Can't climb you, can I? Oh sweet, I can. Okay. Um now what?
I feel like this is not the way I'm supposed to do it, but fuck it. Oh, oh, thank God that counted somehow. Thank God. <laughs> Boy, howdy. Alrighty. And where is it and how do I get to it? Please just like put me on land. Thank you. Is that up here? Oh yeah, there it is. I see it. you and skip you awesome I always hate it when I take a shower and then I put my contacts in but then my eyes start getting irritated I kind of hate that I was just after the shrine. I'm Renu Onika, the name of the goddess Helia. I offer this trial. Blah 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 blah. Lock the blaze. All right, with what? Ow! I mean, I could probably just duck under that. Doesn't seem so bad. Oh, thank you. <laughs> That's always funny. Okay, but no, I... Oh shit. Okay, thank you. It's like, don't. Smasher, but I can't carry it. 
Okay, what's in my inventory that I can drop? Uh, let's drop this rusty stuff. I don't need them. Now do that, so I can like grab that. There. And I'll have to climb up it. I'll need maybe one. Maybe I'll need both, but for now. Actually I can't get either of them. Okay. Fuck you, I can't. Ha <laughs> put there though. Oh, it doesn't. Okay. Oh, hello. What am I supposed to do with you? Can I, uh, reset you? Uh-oh. I hate this so much. that so much and I don't think it can reach those can I ow Still there, great. Okay. I hate this thing so much.
Oh my god. Oh shit, but now I got like... That's not what I wanted, you piece of shit! There we go. <laughs> I kind of like what I was going to do with it better. Okay, got time to do one more, hopefully. And, uh, where is it? Right there, huh? I don't even know the best place to go there. Probably a check rock. I'm a survivor. I don't know where the hell the red one, right? Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh boy, this is gonna be fun. Get to. I'm gonna keep this thing on. Excuse me? Oh, that thing. I know I've, like, felt like a breeze of some sort beforehand, but I was like, what the hell? Ow! The hell? Jump that rusty claymore at some point. Have those arrows equipped? You? Oh. Awesome. I need you to get like over here though.
has to be a better way to do this than what I'm doing. up where is it That counted though, right? Yep. <laughs> uh, I kind of know the updrift, but... Upset that I couldn't get the stuff that came from it, but oh well. Hopefully this doesn't don't take too long. What the hell? Okay, well, let me put my bomb in there first. It doesn't, it doesn't seem too... Oh, wrong button. Shit. 
Oh no, it actually comes down, doesn't it? Just gotta wait for it to come down. Maybe that's probably what that is. Like if I hit it at the highest point is when it will is if I get that treasure chest. God damn it! What the hell? Why do I always forget which button does it? Well, actually... Nope, too high. Okay, it has to be in the center. Has to be right there. I suppose I'll wait until the next time it goes around. <laughs> Got it. Like there's another one still I need to do at some point. Better be something good. I'll take it. That is something good. A diamond in the sky. Diamonds in the skies. Turtles in the skies. Turtle power. All right. Fuck off. Fuck everything. Fuck you. Doesn't seem that hard, but if I, c if I can't get to. Just need you to turn. Fine, that's fine. Piece of shit. Of course it wasn't gonna be So fucking hit, you piece of garbage. <sighs> oh fuck. <laughs> fuck off. I fucking hate this. I fucking hate the motion controls. That's why this game was number six on my top ten games. This fuck okay, hello. Fuck the motion controls. That's all bullshit. Motion controls, goddamn bullshit. Never works the way you want it to.
Skip. Ah. <sighs> One remains. Fuck you. Okay. Well, guys, that's going to end the part of Let's Play Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild right here. I am definitely going to cut some of that out because that's all bullshit. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching this video. If you liked the video, please give that like button a click. Comment down below if you like the video. If you like the video, let me know. How do you feel? How do you feel about the motion controls in this? this they're bullshit, I got to tell you. They're something else, I'll tell you. And it's always the right, it's actually the right one that controls the motion controls, because what I did, I was like, okay, fuck this. So I took my, because I'm holding the Joy-Cons in the little uh, pad thingy. And I, I was just like, okay, which one controls this? So I was like, oh, all right, there it is. So then I just moved it around. But, but anyway, so yeah. As always, guys, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a beat. And subscribe to my main channel, too. That's in the description below. So as follow me on Twitter. Both my main Twitter, RPG Kingdom Kid Twitter, are in there, too. I want to thank you all so much for watching once again. And I'll see you all next time.